Hi, this is Diana from Second Half Dreams, and in this video, I'm going to introduce you to Master Pages. Okay, I'm going to start this video by going over here to the Pages section. Um, let me show you how it's laid out really quick. So the pages of your book will be shown on this bottom section, and your Master Pages will be shown on this top section. Right now, there's just one page to my book, and I'm going to add two more pages by clicking on this twice. So now I have three pages in my book. All three of these pages are connected to Master A, and I know that because there's an A on each page. And so what that means is that any change they make up here to um, A Master will be shown down here on any page with an A on it. Okay, I'm going to demonstrate that really quick by going up here and clicking on the right master page and i um, just going to make a text box. I'll type in master page A right side and let me make the text a little bit larger so you can see it. I'll center it. And I'm going to select the box and copy and paste it into the, the left master page. And I just want to move this down here a little bit. So I'm just selecting it and moving it down. So now I have master page A left side, master page A right side. So now if I go down here to my title page, it also says master page A right side. And then if I scroll down, I have um, on pages two and three, left side and right side. So anything that I do up here will be shown on these pages because, because they do have an A on it. And I really don't want my title page to be a master page because, you know, it is kind of ugly at the moment. So let me um, remove this connection between the title page and the master page by right clicking on the first page and then going to apply master to pages. And then I'm going to remove that connection by just selecting none. So now my title page looks normal again, and then when I scroll down to pages two and three, I still have the master pages. I'm going to be covering master pages in more detail in later videos and let you know why they're so great for low content book writers. But I wanted to keep these videos short, so I'm going to end this video now. And in my next video, I'm going to fix up pages two and three.